Robin Thicke goes to couples therapy with his fiancée and his ex-wife. The 43-year-old singer has revealed talking things through with a third party has done wonders for his romance with fiancée April Love Gary, with whom he has Mia, 2, Lola, 23 months, and Luca, 2 months, as he also admitted he attends regular therapy sessions with his ex Paula Patton, where they discuss the best ways to co-parent their 10-year-olds. Therapy is not for everybody all the time, but it definitely opens barriers for us. Even just to go what if you're struggling in your relationship, one visit, one conversation with a third party can change things. Couples therapy has been great for me and April, and it's been great for me and Paula in co-parenting. We've had a few sessions and it's really helped for us, so I am a total believer in therapy. The Blurred Lines hitmaker added that while he understands some people may not want to do therapy every week, there are times when it becomes necessary. He explained during an appearance on the Black Girls Texting podcast, when you hit a wall and you know you've hit a wall and you're standing still, a great way to knock that wall down is to have a third party or another person help you. Meanwhile, Robin recently said his relationship with Paula, whom he met in 1991, married in 2005, and separated from in 2014, has never been better now that they're just friends and co- He said, there's so much emotion when you first break up, and there is so much stuff that spills but time heals those wounds, and she's an incredible person. Once you can put yourself second, your son rises to the top and you go, it's not about us anymore. We're very lucky the way everything has worked out. We've never been better. We have a system of communication and transport co-parenting at our very best, and it shows in Julian's results. Has thriving and has really blossomed this last year. Has so devoted to school. Has the opposite of me. I was the class clown in the background. Has in the front of class and loves going to school. Maybe has not my son. But no, in the proudest father because he really is that kind of kid at home. Last week Thick said was in a bad place during a time where he was professionally sore. The singer recalled his crumbling marriage to Paula Patton as he battled using painkillers while Blurred Lines became a commercial success in twenty. Thick admitted in People magazine's latest issue that there was a melting pot of trouble brewing and his personal life was falling apart. His big break came with Blurred Lines as it climbed to the top of the charts in 2013 and became the longest running no. One single of the year after topping the Billboard Hot 100 for 12 consecutive the song, which also included Pharrell Williams and T.I., had an equally controversial video starring a topless Emily Ratajkowski to match the questionable lyric. My marriage to Paula was crumbling, he said. I started using painkillers. It was a melting pot of trouble brewing, and I was so arrogant that I thought I could hand after a raunchy performance with Miley Cyrus at the MTV Video Music Awards in August 2013, Robin was caught grabbing a fan in a backstage photo, with his wife was merely inches away. She filed for divorce in 2014 after nine years of marriage and 21 years together, claiming infidelity, physical abuse and drug use. Vic has denied cheating and abuse allegations. Everything seemed to burn down there for a few years, he said. He and Pharrell were later sued by Marvin Gaye's estate for copyright infringement of the 77 hit got to give it up and were ordered to pay $3 million in damages when the case was settled in 2015. That year was a whirlwind of fame, and overindulgence all coming to a head. The painkillers, prescribed at first from back pain due to traveling, became part of the relief. He added, you don't realize you are not in control. Fame and a lot of those things, that I was in a bad place. I'm happy to have closed that.